Last but not least, I got you a pitch pipe for singing. And I got myself one too, because they're awesome. <laughs> right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. This is perfect. Of course, I just want you to have a, a good first rehearsal. And I'll just, I'll be hanging out until you're done. You must have something better to do than sit around and wait for me. That is a scene from Netflix's Tall Girl 2, starring Ava Michelle. And lucky for us, we don't have to sit around and wait for Ava because she's right here with us. Right here. Hello, hi. Hi, congratulations on the film. Thank you so much. Aw, and now that the movie is here, what types of emotions are you feeling? Are you excited, nervous? I'm so excited. I think it's it's really funny because I think Jody and I have a very similar emotional journey throughout the first mm -hmm. film and the second film because the second film she's coming in off of this huge speech that she did and she's now right. confident and she's yeah. gained it, but there's a lot of people expecting a lot from her. And I can kind of feel that with this film as well as like, you know, it's, it's as scary as it is exciting of being in this position, and I'm so grateful for it, but it is also very terrifying trying to mm -hmm. create a sequel to something that meant a lot to people. That's a lot of pressure. It is. Yeah. It is, but I, I wouldn't change it for the world, so I'm, I'm very excited. With all of that being said of the similarities yeah. to your character, did you have an overall very similar experience in high school? Did you go to a I high school? I didn't go to high school. Ah! So I'm like, Tall Girl has been my high school experience, and I think it's been pretty, pretty great. Our dances are very elaborate. Um, no, I didn't. I was homeschooled for high school because I was pursuing this career. And um, so our, our high schools were, our high school experiences mm -hmm. were very different, but I mean, I relate to Jody in so many ways of, of the things that she's been going through of insecurities and her yeah. high insecurities um, just with herself and having confidence to do what she loves. So mm. um, we definitely relate to each other on a deep level, but wow. as far as high school goes, not exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. You mentioned the dances. Yes. Now, your character is the lead in the musical. You have an incredible voice, but yes. we see a lot of the dance moves too. I was so excited. <laughs> I honestly was so mind blown when I was reading the script and found out I would be able to dance and sing right. in Tall Girl because that's something that's been a dream of mine since, I mean, I started out dancing when I was two and that was my first love. So being able to now mm -hmm. act, sing and dance in a film is just, a dream come true, honestly. Did the writers know that going into it? Your love for dance, did they kind of write it in I on feel purpose? Like, I feel like it could have been a okay. little bit of something because mm -hmm. um, I think if another actor would have had, you know, a different skill set that it might have gone mm -hmm. a different way. Um, but yeah, I would never have expected Jody to be dancing, but <laughs> her love for music and the arts, I think really just aligned yeah. with, you know, my love for it as well, so. That's incredible. This is kind of like a, a, a dream role for you then. It is. Honestly, I remember booking Tall Girl. Mm -hmm. I thought I dreamed big, and then I was mm -hmm. like, this far surpassed any of my biggest dreams. And being able to be a part of a film that has such an amazing message mm -hmm. to people and can really touch yeah. people that were going through something I was going through, I think is, yeah, I couldn't have asked for anything better. What's so interesting, too, is when I was in high school, when I look back, it was a long time ago, but <laughs> It doesn't I... look that long ago, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't recall having movies that I could watch that would relate to the struggles that we do face yeah. in high school, the insecurities, you know, boys, all of right. that. Sorry. Why do you think it's so important to be able to have your character show, even scenes like Jody experiencing a panic attack? Yeah. Being able to portray that on film where people can watch and be like, and relate to it, how, how important is that for you? It's incredibly important to me, mm -hmm. I think, our writers and everyone who's involved in this project has made it their goal to be that mm -hmm. for people. I think, you know, Jody dealing with the bully inside of her head and anxiety attacks and also watching the other characters deal with the hardships that they're going through. I think it's beautiful for anyone to relate to. I think anyone of any age struggles with, you know, that voice inside their head telling them right. that they can or they're not good enough. And so I think addressing that in any way and making people feel seen and yeah. letting them know that they're not alone going through this is just, amazing to be a part of. It is amazing. Yeah. And then on top of all of those struggles that Jody is facing, there's three boys in the mix. There's three boys. I'm like, <laughs> this is so much. There's so much going on. It's stressful. And I'm also like reading the script. I'm like, Jody, what are you doing? What is going on? Your your life is already so complicated. Um, yeah, it's great. Jody always is in mm -hmm. some sort of love 
square or triangle. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. But that's the that's the only part of, of your life that I feel like is is not similar to no. real life mm -mm. because you I, have a boyfriend. I do have a boyfriend, <laughs> yes. But it was a struggle to get there, I feel yeah. like for sure. But I definitely never had Mm -hmm. four suitors that were ready right there ever. So. I never did in high school either. I either. Is this normal? I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I guess so for Jody. It's it's pretty great. It's a very complicated love life for her. Very complicated. Sure. Well like we said, at least in real life we don't have to deal with the yes, complications. Your don't. boyfriend is so cute. Thank you so much. Was height a conversation at the very beginning of your guys' relationship by any chance? I feel like height has never been an issue okay. for me. I've always thought it was only mm -hmm. an issue if it was an issue for the opposite. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, you know, I talk about this all the time, Dunkelman is such a great role model for for shorter guys because I think if they are confident in who they are mm -hmm. and they are confident to let their opposite be who they are, then, then it works out. He is taller than me, my boyfriend now, which is amazing, but <laughs> he's encouraged me to wear heels since we started dating, which makes me taller than him. I love and that. Yeah, it meant a lot. It means a lot, yep. Now, do you think, because Netflix does this thing where they have a hit film and then they right. make three of them. Right, <laughs> which it seems to be the number, I know. Lucky number three, I, I think that's why they say it, right? I, I agree. Um, third one's the charm. Uh, oh, that, is that I, the same? I, I yes. so. Um, but we'll see. I mean, okay. do I think that we have so much more to tell with Jody's mm -hmm. life and all of these character stories. I do. I think we could go on for 10 years talking about them and, yeah. and talking about different messages and truthful, real things that we yeah. go through. Um, so Netflix, please, please do that. That would be great, um, but we'll see. Jody goes to college. Ah, it would be great. She needs to graduate <laughs> first is kind of my thing. Listen, I think there's a three, four, five <laughs> oh, at this goodness. point. There we go. It's like Jody and Dunkelman get married. That could all be, the way. listen, that could be really cool it for people to thing. follow the character yeah. through life. <laughs> right? It could, it could be very cool, so. Now in the meantime, what else do you have going on? Yeah. Um, as you know, acting stuff goes, we will see how everything pans out. And um, but right now, my passion is a clothing line that my mom and I just um, dropped. It's called Identified, and it was actually a project that my brother, my mom, and I wanted mm. to start. Um, but he unfortunately passed away almost a year ago today to fentanyl poisoning, which is something that is terrible and is taking way too many amazing people, um, and something that I want to speak on. But his passion was really just making people feel good in their own skin and knowing that they should only have to be identified as humans and mm. we can all have just confidence in that and equality. And um, so that's really what Identified is about and we really just wanted to see it through for him and what he believed in. And um, so that's something that's a huge passion project of mine that is finally out in the world, which is crazy. What an amazing way to carry on his legacy, and I know you physically carry him with yeah. you as well on your mm. on your necklace. Yeah, it's his fingerprint actually, which is also unidentified. Um, the tags are also his fingerprint as well. Wow. So I just love it because I feel like he's leaving his print on people and everything that he believed in. Um, he was just the most beautiful spirit. What a bittersweet time for you, but yeah. you know we are sending you so much love and congratulations on the clothing line, mm -hmm. on the film, Thank and you so everything much. you've got going on. Again, when you want to promote the third, fourth, fifth right. movie, we'll be right here. I'll come back here. I know. I will see you in a year. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully, maybe I'll, two. I'll I'll remember that. But okay, in cool. the meantime, <laughs> Tall Girl Two is on Netflix February 11th.